We're out here at 8729 Lower Marine Road. In the last couple weeks, a lot of changes have taken place. Today, we're gonna to address some of those issues and some of the questions that many of you have asked. One of the many questions that we've had is, why doesn't the floor come out to the edge of the concrete, as you can see down here? Nathan's gonna actually explain that for us. So on your typical house, your framed wall would sit up here on your floor like this. And then you would have below it, you would have your band board exposed. But on this home with the thermosteel walls, we've actually added 17 and a half inches in length to the wall. So the wall will slide down past the floor and will actually sit on the concrete. This will eliminate the cold band board and give us an effective R value of 33. Now that we've explained the, the technique that is used for the walls, Nathan, you've also stated that this wall is safer than the wood frame wall. Why is that? These walls have been engineered at a rating of 150 miles per hour on a flatline wind. And a wall is only as strong as the substrate that it's attached to. So instead of being nailed to a wood floor with typical nails, this wall system will be bolted onto the concrete, directly to the concrete with heavy bolts. This wall will sit inside the plate, be screwed in from the outside. And on the inside, it'll be screwed into the floor through, through a piece of steel here and bolted in this way to give it more strength. And this will also act as a barrier for the, the lightweight concrete that will sit on top of the floor. Since the wall is bolted into the concrete, it makes it much stronger than a typical framed wall that's nailed to, to wood. In all the areas where we have a walkout wall built, since we don't have the thickness to sit a wall on top of it, we have almost three inch fillers that will be screwed right to this plate. And we'll sit directly on top of that wall. And then it will come up to the height of the floor where the new walls will sit hanging over to that. Okay, here's another question that comes from one of our viewers. Where is the garage and what is this big area? Well, this over here is a theater slash safe room. This is the reason why the walls are so thick and we have number six rebar on a 12 inch grid as part of the safe room. As you can see the drop in the elevation in here, that's for stadium seating in the theater room. So we figured when you're avoiding a tornado or a storm, why not be able to go into your basement and watch a movie in your safe room? This garage floor is probably one of the most exciting parts of this whole project for me. We're gonna have 12 inch filler panels made of steel and foam sitting running north and south on top of the floor. We're gonna have temporary wood framing walls running east and west that's gonna hold up this floor until the concrete cures. So we have a 12 inch foam panel we have a six inch concrete floor going on top of it, sloping three inches from back to front. And when you remove your shoring, what you're gonna see from the theater room is a foam ceiling with steel studs that are already ready for drywall with an R50 insulated value. This is not a question that has come in from our viewers, but rather, this is something that we would like to share with you. We're actually standing in the area where we'll be having our meals. From behind us, you can see the area that we get to see every time we sit down as a family.